Okay, so I'm back from the future, back to the past. I should record this first, but I'm recording it now, so it's going to seem a little out of sync or whatever. Um, here at the Downdraft Paint Booth with the uh, Million BTU burner. Hey, if you find this informational, find anything you will interesting, watch it to the end. I'd appreciate it. It helps me out. I'm not going to be like some of these other YouTubers that sit here and say, hit like, subscribe, hey, wait till the end to find out this or whatever. I'm going to tell you straight up what none of them are telling you. Going and hitting the like helps me out for being suggested in content. Uh, leaving a comment helps me out. Watching it to the end, if you can bear it. I know it's boring, but if you can watch it to the end, it helps me out. Help a brother out, man. I could really use it. I won't even go into trying to do a cheesy imitation, or I uh, should say a uh, cheesy improv of uh, <laughs> the Australian YouTuber from SC Reviews. Go check him out, good stuff. But I am, I'm struggling here. So, uh, all right, enjoy the video while you can. It's a little boring, whatever, but have at it. All right, so. Repair on the front is well, not finished. I think it still needs to do some cleanup. Yeah, I know I didn't clear off the mill, mill scale, but it is what it is. Still got to do some grinding. Hold on, let me get right back to you. Okay, here I'm back to you with the flash on. Let's first, I really looked at the inside. I was spraying it out. That's what that rust is. Now I'm trying to weld it inside and out. I should have left more, a little bit more of the bead there, but you know, whatever. So I still like to go across the bottom here for obvious reasons, as you can see. Well, that rust might just because I was spraying up underneath. But now our big problem from this is we do have, we'll go around to the back and I'll show you. Okay, is that focusing? Okay, yeah, so we got a crack there. That's nothing too major. That crack there. I had a crack one all right there. That's more structural there. Okay, and uh, I also had staining around this here. And I can see where it run down there and there. But that running down as in water running down, typical yellow stains. That is from this tube of the heat exchanger. Okay, let's get a light turn on again here. Okay, there's our light again. Let's see if I can catch it here on, on it for you. Okay, so now, uh, yeah. You look right from here on down. You can see it, you might be able to see it if you uh, know what you're looking for. There's, it's all rusted through right there. I mean, it's a wonderful little mess. I had another flashlight right handy. I'd shine it in and shine the flash on the, on the camera here so you can see it. But let's see if we can catch it from the inside, huh? Oh, we should be able to. Oh, not quite, but see a little bit of the shadow of it. But you can imagine by looking at the rust scale in there that we do have issue where this first one has got some holes in it uh, spraying it out imagine that i had uh water coming through and to the outside now some of this is really concerning me i really it's also the first i really got a chance to inspect it again clip you upside down sorry about that So, like I said before, if you watched the other video, is that in the flue gas from a natural gas burner like this, you're going to have carbon monoxides, carbon dioxides, you're going to have H2O water and uh, some nitrous oxides, nitric oxides. Okay, so that's all because of the 
it's a long chain molecule of hydrocarbons. Air is made up of, you know, that's burning in the air. You got oxygen, you got the nitrogen in there. Mainly, main part of what the air and air is nitrogen. So you end up with all those different oxides. Which I mean, I guess you consider water and oxide of hydrogen, whatever. So, well, is that probably ain't accurate, but I don't care. Um, so what happens is that as the gas is cool, as it comes to that box, right? Got all the gases come through and then going up your flue pipe, your chimney, and cooling down, the water vapor condenses, runs back down. So actually, if you look in here, I get my hand in here correctly, looking at right here is, a, is actually a drain. Well, when that water condenses down, it's not just water, you know, you're gonna have the nitric oxides in there and you end up with like nitric acid, basically, along with some other acids, and that's what rusts this out. Now, quite apparently, at probably at one point, what happened from looking inside those, the heat exchanger tubing there, is that that drain got plugged and water backed up. And so that's what corroded it. This is a galvanized steel uh, box, you know, it's uh, the the refractory box and your heat exchange and all that, it's all galvanized steel. So, it resisted it quite a while, but I mean, it did a really good considering it has, like, I think the hour counter on it, on the control said 26,000 hours. So, it's not really doing that bad. I can get that heat, heat exchanger tube patched, which any of you that are still watching at this point in the video or probably, and you know anything about this, you're probably going, I got to see this one. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> but I'll get that patched. But the rest of the scale in there and the heat exchanger, it really bothers me. And even after I get it repaired, I don't like leaving it like that. All that rust and everything, but uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. Because getting this whole unit, it's not going to be cheap. Might be able to find one used, but then what are we facing with another used one? Um, you now we'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it, which is going to be pretty soon. So that's where I'm at. Down draft paint booth. And the adventures or misadventures into the installation, repair, and fabrication of. So that's where I'm at for today. And uh, thanks for watching. Hit a like, hit a subscribe, leave a comment for goodness sake, please. It helps me out. See you next time.